first of all, it's just worth highlighting the digestion of nutrients. That when we eat fat, that fat will move through, it gets digested in a bit of a curious way, which is that unlike any of the other nutrients, it moves into the lymph first. And then after moving through the lymph, it comes into the blood vessels where it can then start interacting with cells and getting stored. And it is doing so on a chylomicron and it's moving within that big chylomicron like a big bus. It's being carried in the form of, of triglycerides. And then different tissues are going to pull a little bit from that, but generally the chylomicron is going to go to the liver and the liver is going to take care of it. It's going to store some or it's going to repackage it and release it as a VLDL, another bus that's carrying different fats and different proteins. So that's a little bit of the digestion process. But if we come to the level of the fat cell, because after all, this is a conversation about storing fat, you, the fat cell will store fat from both fat for circulating in the blood from triglyceride, from triglyceride-rich lipoproteins to be very precise. That is generally VLDL and LDL, a little bit of chylomicron. But again, generally the chylomicron from the diet just goes to the liver and then liver will decide what to do with it, including dumping out some or a lot. And that's going to be VLDL and LDL. So those are all the triglyceride-rich lipoproteins that if they float past a fat cell, the fat cell has on its surface, and other cells do too, an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase. And this is an important little thing I'm going to tell you, which is where you have lipoprotein lipase determines where you store fat. Not necessarily how much fat you store, but where you store fat. You'll notice that you don't store fat everywhere on your body. For example, I don't store fat on the top of my head. It'd be nice to have something there, but I don't store fat there. You don't either. I don't store fat on the back of my hand or anywhere on my hand. I don't have lipoprotein lipase on my hand um, within that part of my body. I do have lipoprotein lipase, for example, on my belly. And that's, of course, largely because I'm a man, but even still, as the triglyceride-rich lipoprotein is flowing through the blood, like VLDL or LDL especially, where we have lipoprotein lipase is where we're generally going to store more fat. And in the very next segment, in just a moment, we're going to talk about the genetics and the environmental factors that play into it. But in addition to fat contributing to fat storage, of course, we have one other one. It's not going to be proteins or amino acids. It's going to be glucose. Fat can convert glucose into fat very, very well. Anyone who tells you anything differently than that is wrong. The fat cell is perfectly capable and even delighted to take in glucose and turn it to fat. What is essential in this process is, in fact, insulin. Insulin is essential at allowing a fat cell to store more fat. The evidence for this is so obvious. Not only in fat cell cultures, as I've elaborated on before, we have fat cells growing in my lab literally right now, and they're surrounded by fats and glucose, all the energy they would need to get big. And they will stay very small, skinny little fat cells until we spike insulin into the culture. When we put insulin in, now the fat cells know what to do, and that is to promote overall the storage. And insulin is absolutely critical. Even in the case of a whole body, if you have a person with type 1 diabetes, they can eat whatever they want, and they need only to skip or deliberately underdose their insulin injections, and they will be as thin as they want. There will not only be no lipogenesis, which is the synthesis of new stored fat, there will also be nothing to turn off lipolysis, which is the breakdown of fat, and that's where insulin is particularly powerful. Um, at inhibiting lipolysis, so preventing the breakdown, forcing the fat cell to hold on to whatever fat it's storing. 